before we get into today's video, be sure to grab PIA or Express. They are great to stopping ISP throttling, website blocking, while keeping your privacy safe when you're browsing. They also allow you to do torrents, media streaming, wares, so on and so forth. They also support different devices and payment methods. Links below. What's going on, you guys? Today I got a video I'm going to be telling you and showing you how to install Kodi 17.6 and Kodi 18 on your device. Now, if for some reason you install Kodi 17.6 and it crashes, you're, you're gonna need to grab Kodi 18, okay? So again, if you watch my video that I published uh, a couple of days ago on how to jailbreak uh, your iDevice without no computer, then this applies to you, okay? I do have one uh, with the IPA store, uh, which is non-jailbroken devices that you can get Kodi. However, we're talking about a jailbroken device. As you can tell, mine does not look stock. So anyhow, to get into the video, you're going to click the link in the description to take you to Kodi uh, Mirror's website, okay? So if... <clears throat> let me actually go back. There we go, okay? So you're going to go to the Kodi... Uh, mirrors.cody.tv now what I'll do is I'll actually direct link the three dev files if not I will actually upload the three myself and put them in the description also okay just in case this does change however you should be able to grab these right from Cody TV fine okay now for the 17.6 release you're gonna go to releases you're gonna click Darwin you're gonna click iOS and then you got iOS I'm 64. Okay, so it doesn't matter again if you're on a 64 device, you're gonna click that. And then you have Kodi 17.6, Kodi 17.5, 17.4. So 17.6 crashes, you can go to 17.5, it may not crash. Okay. Then you have iOS, and again, you can grab these. These may even stop crashing where the arm might uh, still crash. So grab one of those, okay. If you're looking for the 18, you're going to go to Nightly's, Darwin. Again, click on your version. And then there's the Kodi 18. Okay. So once you click these, so I'll click this. It's going to load. Now, it's going to take a minute to download, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is, so on and so forth. As you can see, the progress bar is moving. It's not taking that long. So after it downloads, you're gonna need to have one thing and actually in order to do this, you're gonna head over to Cydia and you're gonna grab files there. Doesn't matter if it's paid, free, whatever, uh, because iFile does not work anymore. What is that, Reddit? Yeah, it's Reddit, okay. I think it's Reddit, yeah it is. Okay, so you're gonna click on more. You would click on more because it's not gonna detect it. You're going to scroll over and copy the files out. So once you copy the files out, what it's going to do is it's going to pop it in your documents and follow, file, uh, follows that. You can hit the star and should be able to hit documents. Okay. And it will take you right here. So what you're going to need to do from here is you're going to click on the version that you downloaded and you're going to hit install. Okay. So once you hit install, this is going to pop up. If you get a terminal error, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to keep respringing your device. Uh, if you're on the newest jailbreak 11.3.1, or you're going to need to reboot into normal mode, run Electra, get the, you know, quick re jailbreakable mode again, and then come back in here and try and run it. If that doesn't work, remove files, uh, respring your device, install it again, respring and try and run it again. I know a couple people have had issues where they go to do it and they can't because it says a terminal error. Okay. Or you could just do terminal commands and install it that way. However, <coughs> I find this way to be a lot faster and easier. Now to tell if it's done, you'll get that bash uh, 4.4. Okay. You'll get that every time you install something unless it errors up. Sometimes this may not come up. Just wait. Wait it out. If you don't end up seeing this and your device hasn't moved, then you can easily respring. And if you cannot, <coughs> sorry about that. If you cannot see Cody after installing it, you're going to need to respring your device for the icon to appear. Okay. 
Once you hit done, your device may lock up for a second, depending on how much stuff you have running. But if we swipe over, as you can see, I have Cody installed. So if I open up Cody, this is welcome to Cody 18. And there you go. Now you can set up your Cody and enjoy your content. This is a pretty good little, little jailbreak this time around, even though it's semi tethered, I actually don't mind it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how you can install Cody on your iDevice on the new firmwares. Peace out. Made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget on the left is a video in main lake and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.